How we do it again, folks? I'm uh, here for another video review. This time, I am actually reviewing not a piece of hardware uh, so much as a piece of software or an operating system specifically. Uh, I'm probably going to do a couple, few of these over the next couple weeks, and uh, thought I'd give you, a, I guess, a heads up and show you exactly what I'm doing here. So, um, here we go. so uh, as you can see on my reflection, I have a Dell Mini 10V. Um, it is just a small little netbook. It's an Atom powered. Uh, actually, uh, it came with Windows 7 Starter installed on it. That's what I ordered it with. And uh, actually, when I got it, I upgraded it to two gigs memory. Uh, didn't really make it so much faster as it just doesn't bog down as fast. So far, I actually just uh, got done yesterday installing uh, Ubuntu Netbook Edition, the new one, the 10.10. .10. And I thought I'd show you how fast it starts up, so I'll head, go ahead and hit the power button here. And it does actually boot faster than um, Windows 7 the Starter, um, but it uh, it's definitely not as powerful as Windows 7. Uh, and obviously it has problems running. Well, they do have a, a script that I installed called Wine for Linux. And it basically allows you to run uh, Windows applications. And I've done a couple things that I actually installed Microsoft Office. I'm still not have, having the best of luck getting it run, but that's neither here nor there. So, so um, obviously it's it's a it's a PC, and I'm recording from a video recorder. And I actually have my Microsoft Bluetooth mouse hooked up. Everything hooked up just fine to this. Um, everything, uh, the wireless d is fine. There is no problems actually that I have with any of the drivers for any of the uh, systems on this um, computer. Uh, I installed Google Chrome instead of the standard Firefox because I'm not really a, a Firefox fan. Uh, and so, like, if I boot up uh, Chrome here, actually, I guess it's still really booting up, but uh, you can see how it, it works just fine. So, if I uh, let's see if I can check the weather. in my neck of the woods here you know it uh, is it's not any slower than um, anything else it, it renders uh, Java just fine you know obvious it's Google Chrome I'm on a fairly fast internet connection but uh, you can obviously see that it, everything works pretty much for the uh, just fine if I leave that open if I go to the software center software center is where um, you can add apps through their app catalog to have a you know a decent app catalog. And in, in, in all serious, I've I, I used uh, a small version of Linux back in college. This was years ago, uh, and then uh, about two years ago, I installed uh, Ubuntu. I can't remember the version on, on another older laptop that I have, and I'll probably reinstall it again because it's they've really come a long way with Linux, in my opinion. But um, so here's the software center uh, installed software you can look at the different things you have installed it's not as doesn't have as much giddy up I guess that I thought it would being as so much lighter as Windows or and uh, Sirius has actually installed um, uh, Snow Leopard Apple Snow Leopard on this uh, before this and, uh, and I didn't record that unfortunately but I might do that again I do have the retail I bought the retail box set so I could actually install it so um, maybe I'll do that again after I do a few more reviews here, but, um, you can see, uh, it, 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 it's, it has, it is different, I guess it's different than Windows and, um, I, you know, I am a Windows user, so I'm used to Windows. However, I, I'm definitely not biased or I guess I'm biased in that opinion, but I, I'm not saying that it's the only way to go because a netbook you know with only with that it's basically the atom processor that really brings it down i think because upgrading it from one to two gigs didn't make it so much faster it did pop it up a little bit but it just made it so it didn't bog down as much when you have you know after you open so many applications it doesn't bog down as fast but um i don't know i'm not really trying to do a review specifically over um the i guess ubuntu here the ubuntu netbook edition uh as much as just to i guess to show you that it, it works pretty good. It actually everything there is no driver issues on this 
netbook whatsoever. But you can see how it's not the f smoothest scrolling. It, 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 even though it's video showing on this, this is how it actually is on my computer too. It's not the smoothest in the world. You know, obviously I'd expect if it was really working perfectly that it wouldn't have a lag like it does. Um, but in all seriousness, the only issue that I've had so far, uh, I actually took, and I can probably do it while I'm on video here, I have a small flash stick. I actually formatted it in uh, Apple. Uh, with this, I used this to actually boot my, uh, the Apple Snow Leopard on, because uh, that's what you have to actually use to boot it on here. Uh, and it was unable to format it on this computer. And actually, I had another uh, stick as well. Same exact issue. It was formatted within the Apple system. Was not able to format it on here. So what I did is I had my Windows 7 le a laptop next to me. Stuck in the Windows 7 laptop. Formatted it real quick and it was done. Uh, so uh, I think that's what I'll probably do next is show you how to install this. Because I'm actually going to transfer for my next video from this uh, setup to... Uh, uh, another version of Linux, uh, Jolly Cloud, and I uh, thought I'd give that a, a, a another review as well. And I'll, I'll probably uh, I have a couple uh, other operating. I have an old Windows XP uh, CD as well, and I'll probably do that next after that. And I don't know. We'll see where I go. I want to I want to give a good rundown and find out what really the best is to run on this Atom processed uh, netbook. And uh, again, this is the the Mini 10V from Dell. You know, not the best netbook in the world. Uh, it was uh, very reasonably priced when I got when we got it, and uh, has a, a 160 hard drive, and uh, you know, I really have, I really don't have any anything bad to say against, against, about the netbook specifically. Uh, battery life is great on it, uh, but then again, I also have the extended battery on it. So, um, under Windows 7, we get about seven to eight hours. Uh, I've heard actually on Ubuntu uh, it actually can decrease from Windows 7 or so weird uh, specifically because this is only you know I guess probably 2 gigs of hard drive space for this operating system so um, with that said I, I'll, I think I'm going to pull up my uh, my desktop here and show you exactly how to make a, uh, a bootable key for making these uh distributions and get them like, getting them onto a netbook using this rather than I also have a USB uh, uh, CD drive uh, which does work as well but uh, it's a lot faster if you put it on here so I think I'll do that next so here we are uh, we are about to create a bootable USB key from within Windows here I'm actually at the unit boot in dot sourceforge dot net website where you can actually get a specific I guess to Linux uh, download for either Linux or Windows and this is basically to create a bootable USB key from uh, an ISO or an image file uh, it, it does not have to be for Linux you can actually use this for anything else I've found so far um, but uh, it actually has some tools for Linux specifically but you can go ahead and download I've already had that downloaded and I actually have it running right here um, this is the latest version. Uh, if you actually don't have anything downloaded, you can actually select your version of Linux. Uh, like so for the last one I just did here, uh, Ubuntu, and the version I had was 10.10. Uh, let's see. It would be net install. So that would be the one I had. Um, what I'm going to do is actually go down here to the lower section and choose my own disk image. Uh, it's an ISO file for my desktop here. Jolly Cloud is the next one I'm going to do, so I'm just going to get set up for that. USB drive, which I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and actually put that in there. Actually, I'm going to have to redo it because I didn't have it in there. I'm going to go ahead and double check. My USB key is, key, is drive G. So drive G is what I have selected right now. Uh, and then you just click OK and let her go. Uh, it will take... Uh, obviously, it all depends on the size of the file. This Jolly Cloud is about 690 megs, I think. So, um, it'll probably take a few minutes. But uh, after that, basically, you have a bootable USB key. You just stick it in your drive and you go from there. 
and uh, I think on the next video tutorial or the video I go over with Jolly Cloud um, I will actually kind of record a little bit of exactly how it goes so that is my videos uh, for the Ubuntu netbook edition I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stick to it I'm going to actually go over a few more uh, obviously as you see I'm doing Jolly Cloud I'll do that next uh, I'll probably have that posted within a couple days and uh yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what I go from there. I might try another version of Linux after that. Whatever I find, whatever I'm interested in. If you guys have any suggestions, please write in. Please comment. Please uh, subscribe or friend me if you want to. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.